Hey YouTube, it's your boy G Miles. Today we're back with another video. Today we're doing a Doritos casserole, so check it out for the first time. Yep, I got all the ingredients right here, which is the like the cheese, just in case I'm gonna run out. Oh yeah. And also here's the other cheese that I'm, I'm gonna grate it, just in case that I run out of this cheese right here. Toggle seasoning, seasonings. And, and some of the stuff that I need right here, and also the ground beef. And check out the ingredients. Since we know I got the party size kind. Yep. And I'm going to keep you updated once I get started on the ground beef. Since you know I got to cook it. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got your cast iron skillet, since you know it's a lot easier to cook the ground beef in. Once you got your cast iron skillet, all you have to do now just. Turn your heat on to medium heat and let this heat up for a while. And I'm gonna give you a bit once the cast iron skillet is heating up enough. Hey guys, I'm back. So once your cast iron skillet uh, is heating up enough, all you have to do now just put the ground beef on. Since you know it's only two packs. Give us one pack of ground beef. NST, which is the last one. Okay, once you got the ground beef onto the cast iron skillet, all you gotta do now, just chop this up. And, oh yeah, like that. Until it's finally chopped up enough. So, oh yeah, so yeah. And I'm gonna keep, keep you updated once I get the ground beef all chopped in. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got your ground beef all Finally, stir it in and stuff. All we gotta do now is just add our seasons, like some type of your mama season. Just so you know, usually we, we use Tony's and stuff. Okay, once you add in the sloppy your mama season, some black pepper. And of course, some salt. Just a little, but not too much. And last but not least, is some garlic powder. Since you know that is the main key. Well, it's onion powder. I don't know what the heck I was thinking. Yeah, it's onion powder, which is similar to garlic powder. Since I got a bath some right now. Okay, once you add the seasonings, all you have to do now just get that stuff stirred in. Once you got that stuff stirred in, and all I'm gonna do now, just let the ground beef fully cook, and I'm gonna keep it it once the ground beef is fully cooked. Hey guys, I'm back. So once your ground beef is fully cooked and brown, and that's what we want our ground beef to be. Fully brown and fully cooked, no paint. And all I'm gonna do now, just I drain the grease off from the meat, and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna keep it. Keep it updated once I get the grease drained off from the ground beef. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got your ground beef drained off, all you gotta do now is just put it back in. Like slowly like that. Okay, once you got your ground beef back in the pot, all we gotta do now, just turn the heat back on. Um, so you know I got it on low. And let this cook for a little while. And I'm gonna keep it at once. It's cooking a little while since so you know I got to get the taco seasoning and stuff ready. Hey guys, I'm back. So once your ground beef is still cooking, all we gonna do now, just add the taco seasoning in there. And also the water, since we know we gotta make our taco meat. Yeah, like that. Once you got the taco season on the ground beef, all you gotta do now, just stir it in gently. That way, so we won't waste any seasonings and stuff. And I'm gonna keep you updated once to get all the taco season stirred in. Hey, you got some bags. So once you got your taco season all stirred in to the ground beef, all you gotta do now is just add the water in there. Well, I have a cup of water. Since we gotta have enough. Okay, once you add 
two half cups of water in there. All we gotta do now, is just stir it in and, and let this thing cook for a while. But it can take a long time. So yeah, and I'm gonna keep you updated once this stuff is cooking. Hey guys, I'm back. So once your ground beef with taco season and water is cooking, all you have to do now is just add the rotel first. Once you add the rotel first, all you have to do now is just stir that stuff in until it's very nice and stirred, you know? Okay, once you got everything stirred in, the rotel, all you have to do now is just put the cream of chicken on there and I'm gonna keep you with it once I put it on there. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got your rotel in there, all you're gonna do now is just add the cream of chicken on there. Well, onto the ground beef mixture. Yeah, like that. So that's one can. And that's two cans, which is the, the last part we gotta do. Okay, I'm gonna get the cream and chicken in there, and I'm gonna keep it in once I get all the cans scraped off. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got your uh, cream of chicken on there, which is two cans, all you have to do now is finally get that stuff stirred in. Like so, until it's like that. Until by the colors, that means it's sending it into a rotel dip consistency, but not really since you know I'm using cream of chicken. Since I gotta get all this stuff stirred in, like so, since it'll give it a lot of flavor, you know. Yeah, check out those colors. So yeah, and I'm gonna keep you updated once I get the cream of chicken stirred in. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you add the cream and chicken in, in there, yeah, oh yeah, that crap, that Doritos casserole mix, it's not, it's not look good. But one thing I gotta do, just add a can of ranch style beans, since you know it's my favorite kind of beans right here. Okay, once you added the ranch style beans, all you gotta do now, just finally give this a, a, a quick mix, like so. And there you have it. Yeah, that's our castle mix. And I'm gonna keep you updated. <laughs> Once I get everything set up, since you know I gotta put, oh yeah, make the castle. Hey guys, I'm back. So once your, you know, castle mix has been finally cooked, since I put it on low, that way so anything will come out from the castle on skillet. All you gotta do now is just turn, turn it off. And all you need now is just finally make a castle. And I'm gonna keep you updated once I show you how to do this. Just, you know, I'm gonna be doing the Doritos. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got your castle mix, finally click and stuff. And all you need now is just get a bag of Doritos, which is like a party size, which is making a castle or something like that. And all you need now is just open the bag and Get these out, get a couple of doors out, and put them into this bowl right here. And I'm gonna keep it did it once I get to the bowl so I can, you know, crunch them or something. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got a few doors out, I'll have you now. Just use your hands. Since you know we got a cushion or something like that, yeah, just push like that, like this. And that's all you have to do. And I'm keeping it lit once I give me a pan out. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got your pan out, since you know I have this cool pan, which is gonna be enough to get the casserole in there. I swear, this is just like making a making that lasagna. All you have to do now is get your few Doritos and put it into this pan right here. You know, like that. And that's what I'm doing right here. Making sure that 
just ate at the Doritos. Got her crushed up. Are finally in there. Once you got them in, into this pan, and all I'm gonna do now is just get our casserole mix out, and I'm gonna keep it with it once I get it out. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you I got your Doritos in here, and all I do now is just get this out. Since we don't gotta put our casserole in like that, just spread out just for a bit, like so, just in case we do get, get enough in there. So making this is one of the a bit difficulties of your recipes and stuff. Since we gotta get all this stuff in there. I swear it's like making a lasagna. And I'm gonna keep it in once I get some of this in there. Hey guys, some back. So once you got some of the casserole mixed on top of the Doritos, all you gotta do now is just get your second batch of this stuff and you spread it around. Yeah, I gotta make sure that everything is perfect or else it won't go, go, go right here. Like so. Yeah, just a little more. And there you go. And I'm gonna keep you did it once I get a second batch in there. Hey, you got some back. So once you got your Doritos on there, a, a second batch on top of the castle mix. All you do now is just pour some on there. Yeah, like that. To, to make sure I get this stuff spread out, which I'm gonna do now. But I'm not gonna film, film the whole thing. Since I swear it's like making a lasagna or something like that, but it's definitely a casserole, so yeah. And I'm gonna keep you updated once I get all the stuff in there and spread it out. Hey, got some bags. So, once you get once you get done spreading the casserole mix and putting the, the three dose and stuff, and I'm gonna do now just I just do the whole thing off camera since you know I'm not film too long and stuff, and I'm gonna keep you updated once I get through this casserole since you know I gotta put it in the oven. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got everything on there, well, I get for the rest of the casserole mix, as you know, gotta make sure it's right. And there you go. That's how you do it. Just like I said though, it's like making a lasagna. All you gotta do now, just do our last thing of burritos since we know I'm gonna do it right now. Since I'm gonna, I don't got a lot of time on this. Since gotta get on going. Make sure that you crush them. Yeah, like so. And that's all you gotta do since we know I'm gonna have to rest. And I'm keeping it once I have to rest. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got all the Doritos in there, the rest of the Doritos. Yeah, it looking nice. All you do now, which is the last thing I gotta do, just add the cheese on there very slowly. I don't do this too fast or else there won't be enough, there, there will not be enough cheese on there. Since that's how the are through those cats are made, since we know I already had it before. And plus, it was like super good, you know? Yeah, I gotta make sure you spread this stuff out. Or else it won't be even or even. Like so. And I'm gonna keep you updated once I get the rest of this cheese with cheese which is off camera. Hey guys, I'm back. So I finally add another thing of cheese. As you know, it's a different kind of cheese. As you know, I created the cheese, as you know, it's a block of cheese and stuff. So yeah, and it looks like we were ready to put the casserole into the oven, the three dose casserole. And I'm gonna keep you updated once I get to the oven. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you get to the oven, all you gotta do now is open the oven. Once you open the oven, all you gotta do now is just put the Doritos casserole in there, which has some cookies. Okay, once you got your casserole in the oven, close it and let it cook for like an hour or so. Just in case if it doesn't burn. If you don't see yet, I'm gonna keep you updated 
once the casserole is found cooked. Hey guys, I'm back. So once your casserole has been cooking for like probably about 30 minutes, all you gotta do now, just take the casserole out. Yeah, you can tell. Like, yeah, take it out. And there you go. Looks like the casserole is ready. And I'm gonna keep you updated once I show you the casserole. Hey guys, I'm back. And there you have it. All nice and done. Doritos Castle, and that's how, how you do it. Since, you know, like I said, though, I used to have it. Let's see, wait, let's see, back then, and plus, it was so good. Since, you know, I'm a great cook. Hi, Doritos Castle. Plus, I can't wait to dig in. And I'm going to keep you a bit once the Doritos Castle has been cooling off now. But don't worry, though, I turn off the oven while off camera. Hey, guys, I'm back. So, the Doritos Castle. All you want once it's cooling off, all you have to do now, just take a look at it. And there you go. And that's how you do it. Since I kind of overcooked this a little bit, I'll live. So yeah, the Doritos casserole. And that's what you want. Check it out. Yeah, and check out the chips and stuff. And I'm gonna keep you updated one side. Get to my three ghost capsule since it's, it's red speed. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you get to your Doritos capsule, ooh, looks good. I'm um, missing now some sour cream since you know I'm gonna put that on there since you know I'm almost out. But no need to worry. Yep, and that's what it is. Doritos casserole. Ooh, looks good. Now all I'm gonna do just let you try it and yeah, and try it. In three, two, one. Man, that is some good Doritos casserole. And I'm gonna keep it there once you do my Doritos casserole. Hey guys, I'm back. So the Doritos casserole that I had is super delicious and totally amazing. So check it out, bowl. Yeah, finish it in one go. Yep. And check out the rest of the Doritos casserole. Mm-mm-mm. Looks amazing. But I did my best. But I kind of overcooked the cheese a little bit. Wow. That was the best Doritos casserole I ever made for the first time. And that's all on this video on um, Doritos Casserole, which is the cooking video and stuff. So, yeah, way too. That video is going to go up next week if you get, get a chance. So, yeah, way too. If you're new to this channel, please give a like, share, and subscribe. And also hit the notification bell if you get a chance. So, yeah, way too. I'm going to wrap this up. And it's been your boy, Jim Miles. Peace. I hope you enjoyed the Doritos Casserole video.